Good afternoon. It's March 28th and we're back in the Capitol after spring break. Want to let you know what's been going on this week with bills from the 24th district. So we're excited to tell you that just this week alone, three of our bills passed through the Senate and will go on to the House. They are the billing fixes for surprise billing, which in other words, if this goes through the process, um, absolutely no one will be stuck with a bill from an out-of-network doctor when they go to an in-network hospital during an emergency situation. So we had a fix to that bill that passed last year and we're hopeful this will move through the process um, all the way, but it has passed uh, through the Senate. And we also have a bill that was brought to us this year that is moving through the process that we got passed in the Senate, which is the definition of Holocaust in Missouri statutes. And currently it is written incorrectly to say that the millions of people who were murdered during the Holocaust were all murdered in Nazi concentration camps. We want to recognize all those millions of Jews and non-Jews alike who were murdered, many of whom were murdered outside of Nazi concentration camps. So this is a fix to what's written in the statute to make sure that we are historically accurate. And then finally, our suicide prevention fix. As you know, uh, mental health professionals are now required due to our legislation that passed last year to have training in suicide prevention and awareness as a condition of licensure and uh, for the renewal of their licenses. When this bill was amended on to another one, marriage and family therapists were left off of a piece of the bill. So we're gonna get that correction fixed. It's passed through the Senate, it's going to the House, and we'll hope that that gets all the way through the process too. Just yesterday uh, morning, we had a hearing on postpartum depression. And I'm really excited about this legislation. This legislation, uh, because one in seven Missouri women um, suffer from depression uh, after their pregnancy, and because it affects not only their lives, but the lives of their infants and their families, uh, we need to do something about this. Many of these women end up taking their own lives and again, there are long-term ramifications for a woman who's suffering from depression as she raises her infant child and deals with her other family members. And oftentimes this woman doesn't go back to work when she's suffering from depression. So we have crafted a bill and we're very excited about it that allows for women to have screening both at their OBGYN's office as well as at their pediatrician's office when they take their baby in for new baby visits. So we're gonna give several screenings to those women who are willing to take it. And if we find that they are depressed, those doctors will recommend and pass them on to their primary care or to mental health professionals who will then see that they get the tra treatment that they need. This allows for women who are Medicaid recipients to receive this additional mental health support for up to 12 months after, uh, after their delivery. So we're really excited. This got so much support in committee. We had 18 witnesses that came. We have people from pedi pediatric doctors to OBGYNs, people all over the spectrum who came and testified in support of this bill. No one testified in opposition to it. We're hopeful we can move it to, through the process and make sure our, our moms and our people post-pregnancy are safe, are taken care of, can go back to work and take care of their families, and are living good, healthy, and productive lives. So we'll look forward to seeing whether we're able to move that bill out of committee and onto the Senate floor. And finally, um, yesterday, perhaps it was even this morning, uh, it could have been, it was this morning, I'm sorry, these days all sort of blend together, but a bill um, that provides unpaid leave for victims of domestic violence and abuse. So oftentimes these, and it's mostly women, who are trying to escape the, the perpetrator um, of sexual violence and, uh, and abuse on them, need some time from work to go to an attorney, to take care of themselves because of injuries, to go see a doctor, to take care of their families, to actually move. So this bill, depending upon the size of a business, provides a certain number of days of unpaid leave for those people who are victims to help them get their life back on track without having to worry about losing their job in the process. These are people who are changing up their lives for the better. We can't re-victimize them by uh, making them lose their jobs because they need some days off work. So these days are unpaid 
and these victims will be able to take care of themselves and move on and return to work. It was passed unanimously out of the Small Business Committee this morning. We are so delighted with this bipartisan support and are really, really hopeful that this legislation too will move forward through the process. Uh, those are the things that have been going on in the 24th Senatorial District this week. So we've had a strong week in terms of moving our legislation. I want to also thank so many of you who reached out for me uh, to me both the, the few days prior to our spring break and during our spring break. As many of you know, my beloved father, Harry Seltzer, passed away, and eight days later, his younger sister, Manette Maltzman, also passed away. So our families were involved with two funerals of people that we love dearly. I can't imagine having a better father, and I had this wonderful aunt, and they were so close, um, and so many of you, in so many beautiful ways, reached out to me and my family. And I want to say thank you. I hope your families remain safe and healthy. And for the rest of us, I hope when people in your life pass, that you have the time that I did to spend with those people before they passed on and with your family during the grieving process. Thank you. Have a great, productive week, and we'll talk to you next week.